I'm going to be giving myself 100 days to complete my goals in Minecraft Attack on Titan as Eren Jaeger, going from human to titan. Let's begin with day one. In this new world, I spawned in a place which kind of resembled the look of like the start of season place where they fought the female titan, which was pretty cool, and titans did spawn, though I had nothing to beat them. So I ended up just running away, and I got a weird stare down by uh, the smiling titan. So, you know, my mum is, I ran very, very far away. They don't want to deal with that at all. But I did pick on some sheep, so I wanted the food and the wool, which I did get quite a bit as well. But I had flashbacks and ran away, so didn't last very long. Started to rain in thunder, so I thought that maybe the world tried to tell me something that something, you know, bad's about to happen. So I killed some pigs in retaliation, because that is what you do. But at this point, I ain't even got wooden tools yet. I don't really know what I'm doing. After some running around, I found a village and this weird cave thing, which had like spiders, but like buff spiders. It was kind of weird. So I ended up ignoring it and joining to the village. Once I was in the village, I immediately went to bed and stole this kid's bed. He wasn't very happy out in the morning, but it is how it is, man. But it turns out these villages have names, like Sage and Seri and all kinds of different names, which is kind of cool, actually. Some of them were guard villages, so they could protect themselves, which I guess was needed in the world of Titans. So I finally made some tools, and Strawberry got some stone to make stone tools, and with that, I made some weapons out of stone, because, you know, it's needed. I was going to need some food as well, but luckily for me, the villagers have been hard at work making food just for me, of course. So I turned their wheat into bread and came across my very first titan. And there were a few. They weren't too aggro, though. Why is that titan? I have like a slap. My first goal was to make the handle for swords, and the craft was kind of weird. Dude, get out of my face. I went back to this cave before I could, like, get the courage to go for it my soul was stead into. To get my mind off things, I went and got, you know, got some wood, and uh, it was kind of weird, because when I looked back for the titan, he was gone. Nothing could scare me now that I've, oh yeah, never mind, maybe. Too many spiders, I don't like spiders, so. Had to move. After some running around, I came across another village, and this village was really nice, I had like a jungle near it, the builds were nice, the villagers looked new and different. Not including the guard villagers, they didn't seem to appreciate my existence. These two were having a stare down. And this one here, this is one of the new ones I was talking about, and they looked actually kind of cool. They had like new different blocks, like this gardening table and different related jobs. This had this like cave I'm definitely going to explore later, and... But who's nibbling on my app? Dude, what are you doing? I decided just to go from the Titan and just go mining, and... I was going to need like a lot of iron since a lot of the tools used in, in this mod I assumed would use iron since you know swords etc, the uh, ODM gear etc, trip wires and things like that And after a little bit I managed to make a handle and they are really well modelled like they look really good But it's missing one thing, the blades So I sucked up on a stupid amount of iron and I came across this weird ore I had no idea what it was, it was lit up weirdly because I was using shaders and it was called ice underscore blast, I don't think that was important, but I couldn't craft it or anything. But I did come across this weird lava place which looked very dangerous, so I went heads in first. And it turned out quite nicely for me because there was so much more of this ice blast material. And after some running around I came across this weird like spider dungeon which looked pretty well made. And I mean there were a lot of spiders but nothing really too great inside the dungeon itself. I mean I got a bit of a spook here. I mean, I didn't get a spit, I wasn't scared at all. But there was nothing great apart from the anvil, I guess. Got back out after a little bit, and uh, there was no time to be seen. You know what the weird thing is about this Titan? Its head is backwards. Do you see that? It's weird, right? And there's this slab head as well, look at this guy. I placed like the spider dungeon things just on my house to distinguish it, because I was getting lost quite a bit, and I had this bee in there for some reason, so I named it Hatchy. She's, uh, you know, a good addition to the team, as well as my roommate, Nilida. We, uh, we share a bunk bed. It's quite cool. I spent the morning, as one does, just smelting iron, making tools, making food, finally made some blades, and before I could talk about it, Albert came in. I don't know who Albert is, I think it's like Nilida's boyfriend, I don't know, I don't care. But by clicking R, you can, like, reload your blades, so I thought you'd have to, like, craft it, but it's not like that at all. And there's even an animation when you run. And if you right-click the sword, it makes, like, this weird, like, area, like, effect, kind of. It's really cool, actually. The animation's pretty decent. I thought it was really cool. Like, even the Iron Golem had something to speak. Oh, Albert, what do you want? What even is this problem? What's this problem? I don't know either, man. I then wanted to quickly get a horse, and quickly was I, what I wish it was. It wasn't quick at all. But I wanted to get a horse for one simple reason, which you'll see in a bit. And it took a long time to get a horse that I, one, liked, and two, looked cool. I settled for this one, which I named Uma, I believe. And 
it was pretty average across the board, which was fine. I wasn't looking for anything special, just something I could get the job done. And Uma was just that. I made like this wagon thing, and it took me a while to get used to. I didn't know how to like make it work. I ended up like attaching it to myself before I even attached it to Uma. It was pretty odd. But the idea was this. I wasn't going to have a home. I was going to be a home on the go. And if you're wondering how I'm going to do this, I can store so much stuff in the supply count that I don't even need a home. So with that done, I set out on my little adventure. After a while, I came across a similar looking forest from the start of the video. I decided that I'm going to try and look cool. And with this, I needed leather and chickens with feathers. And so I killed pigs and realized they didn't drop leather. I don't know what I was thinking. It didn't take that long since I found cows pretty soon after, as well as chickens. Almost everything was here, which is wonderful. And using my new sword skill, it was made pretty easy. I could kill multiple things at one and get all their stuff in the blink of an eye almost. Pretty wonderful. And for feathers, I only needed like one. But the problem was, is that I got lost for so long, it was horrible. But anyway, I got back soon enough and made the 3D maneuver like survey core outfit and I was looking really good and I liked it. Riding on Uma has never felt so cool. I was missing one thing and that was like the green cape that the survey core wears. I, I wanted that so bad. So I found like some cactus, smelled that bad boy up and made the cape. And, I mean, it looks alright, it looks alright. Um, it was pretty solid looking. It wasn't like as wavy as I thought it would be, I mean it's Minecraft. But the back bit of the 3D like maneuver gear at the top was so cool looking. And the final step for me was just to make the trousers. And for this I need the gas tanks, which luckily for me came in quite easily since the ice blast that I found earlier. This is what they were used for, which I had no idea at the time, but it makes sense since it's like a material you can only find at paradise. And I, I just didn't clock me at the time. I, I, I know now, so don't worry. I needed more leather and that was going to be a problem since it was quite a long travel just to find cows. But I got it done in the end and now I'm a full-fledged survey core member who can, you know, swing around. I was confused at first because there's no like strings or anything. But I forgot about it, I got straight into killing some titans and I felt so cool. I'm pretty sick at being a, a titan slayer, let me tell you. Like, I won't lie, I think I'm getting a bit too good at being a survey core member. I might be some of the best already. I was like swinging from titan to titan, just like flinging around. I was like, I was going in circles, cutting napes. I felt like Levi, but maybe, I mean, I could probably look like this. But I felt like Levi, so it doesn't even matter. I felt so sick. But I was maybe getting a bit too excited because after a while um, I ran out of gas and I had to run and so it was pretty horrible. But after ages just killing titans non-stop, I decided I'd call it there since my birds were out and headed back to my little camp. I set back out my adventure and this time instead of ignoring titans I came across, I could just fling up there, cut their nape and back right back out, hop back on my horse like it was nothing. I felt kind of sick. I traveled for a while for like finding almost nothing honestly. Like I went through different biomes, ones I've uh, apparently very rare finding titans, swinging up to them, cutting their nape, back and right back out, hopping back on the horse, feeling cool, Levi's nothing, I'm better. It's just how it is. I'm joking. But after traveling a super long time, I finally came across another village. It didn't look as nice as where Nilida is right now, but these villagers, for some reason, just didn't like my existence. It's kind of weird. Like, I wanted to ask them about the nine titans, you know? And they kind of just looked at me and walked off. It was weird. Oh, I don't know what's Young's problem. Oh, what, what's your problem, man? I'm not doing anything to you. Get out of my face, Cassie. What are you- Cass- Cass- Cassie, dude. I see you. I see what, I, uh, I saw you, Cassie. I saw- Oh, don't even act like that, man. I know what you did. Safe to say that the villagers and I weren't getting along, but we shared a room one night, so that was kind of cool. When I woke up, I started asking around about the Titans, etc. And I kind of just got ignored almost every single time. It wasn't a great feeling, they still don't like me, so. When I next hopped on the server, I found out that there was like a new update, which added like the strings kind of in a weird like particle effect, which meant I can't just fly into the sky anymore, as you can see. So I had to like grapple onto things and fling myself about while also, you know, trying to be sure about where I'm like attaching to. That was kind of hard to explain. And I came with like this strategy to like grapple onto things and fling myself up, which doesn't really make sense if you think about it, but it works. So, but Uma, what are you doing? <laughs> I grabbed Uma and decided to just head out of the village because I wasn't welcome anyway. And I came across this like house after a while and it was turned by mobs so using my two swords. I just cleared the place quickly. It was honestly super satisfying. Once I got in, there was like just a random villager in there. I didn't know his name yet, but I'm sure he wouldn't mind. I had a bunk bed. I kind of just, just slept in it. I'm sure he won't mind. It was, his name was Valzen. Um, he didn't 
already acknowledged me. But I checked his chest and he had like a lot of stuff. I'd steal it. I took a leap. I'm, I'm sure he wouldn't mind. And it was just to, you know, make sure my horse didn't run away or anything. So it wasn't like a robbing. So the lead was there. And I think Velzen didn't really mind me staying there. So this was my new home. And I quite liked it. After looking around like the just enough items section, I found that there was like way more things than some I had no idea about. Like Hanji's goggles deal. I had to make these. So I got straight to it. Some glass, some leather. Made that thing straight away. Put it on my face and I look pretty good. It's not usual for mods to like fit my character very often, but everything was fitting perfectly, so I was very happy. I made like this training equipment thing, just because I thought it'd look cool, just to have it at like, the back, you know, the backyard or something. So I hopped into it, and um, I I didn't have to craft a thing. I I, I wasted so much materials and crafting stuff, and I could have just got it all for free. So I, it broke my heart, but it didn't have the survey core logo, so it wasn't as cool. So uh, technically, everything I did was uh, was not in vain. Put the trainee equipment onto like an armor stand just to kind of have as like a spare, which was pretty cool actually. And then I made these thunder spears, which work very well against the armor time, which I have not seen. But they used handles, and I thought, damn, I have to make more handles. Nope, you can put the blades off your normal handles and attach them to the thunder spears, and they look so good. They're so well made. They don't do like block damage then. I guess they do just a lot of damage to titans, but when it comes to block damage, not that much. And they're expensive to make, so I didn't make very many of them. But I made a gun, so I mean, that was kind of cool. It also was, again, very well modeled, so I was just blown away by that. Though, to make the bullets, kind of expensive. A lot of gunpowder needed, I don't have much of that. And also, it turns out that I'm a pretty horrible shot. I tried to shoot this cow. First time missed, second time missed even harder. But I thought this was really cool. You can make or cook this meat, and it's the it's the meat that like Sasha holds. So I, I was that was cool. I mean, Sasha will live on forever, you know. I wanted to try it so bad. I ran around for so long just to lose a bit of hunger, and um, I mean, it's it's uh, it's food, you know. It's, it's, just, it's just food. So I went mining again. So I was gonna need more ice blasts for the different gas tank things, since I was going through them like nothing. Found some diamonds, found some redstone. I wasn't gonna use redstone really, but since I found the diamonds, I decided that I could just go to the Nether, maybe find some something cool, um, just in case the mod has something Nether related. I had no idea. I know nothing about this mod, and the about page isn't the great. I mean, it's uh, the maker's Japanese, so I didn't this mod had to offer. I got back during the night, so no titans really were a problem to me. But I did clear the mobs outside of Elzen's house, just so my roommate isn't too scared. Next morning, I decided to put the pool on like the side of the house where it was kind of just a bit messy or empty, which honestly kind of added to the build itself. Luckily, I didn't like, mess up anything, just kidding. But after a while, I got it made, and I thought it was like, a lot cooler than it did. I, I guess I'm not that great at building. But um, it was kind of just there, didn't look great, wasn't too interesting, but happy days. My spawn in the nether I think is the worst spawn I've ever had. There was no entrance to the nether, so I spent so long just mining. Like there was no exit. But I eventually found the fortress after a stupidly long amount of time. But my misfortune just carried on since I couldn't find any blaze spawns or anything since that is like the main reason you go to the fortress. I couldn't find a single blaze. I ended up taking on just the stragglers you find like around the fortress, even they were hard to come by. I couldn't find a, a spawner, and I just had to focus on these stragglers, and even then I kind of nearly died. It's pretty rough, but I got them killed in the end, so can't complain. While I was running around the fortress, I opened my inventory and saw the attack titan and the injection for an attack titan, but upon clicking it, I couldn't see the craft, so I thought it was just limited to creative only. And then I saw these, like, I saw, I mean, I saw the, the Wandering Trader, and I, I don't like, I just don't like him. Anyway, I think that, like, to become the Attack Titan, you can't do it in survival. I had no idea. And it also turns out that, um, you can't hook onto the back of a Titan, which I thought was pretty rough. So I had to run to, like, a tree biome, just so I could take down the Titan. So, also just to point out, I think the update just, like, completely reset my progress on Titans. So, you'll probably see different achievements on him and about that. I also never mentioned it, but I think that when Titans die, the effect is honestly really impressive. I thought it was really cool. It just adds a lot. I, I just thought it was sick. I spent a while just like hunting Titans just to try and like catch up to the progress I lost from the update. And um, t not money was spawning, I won't lie. Titans kind of just stopped spawning in my world. And so I was running out of ideas of what to do. So I found a random place and decided that I'm gonna try out these like, attack Titan stuff to see if it works since I don't think you can achieve in survival, like regular survival. So I spawned in the attack titan, who looks really cool by the way, and then right clicked it with a syringe, and um, I became the successor attack, which is what I'm sort of said anyway. 
And since I'm the attack titan now, I need to stir it in random like locations and point at it. So I did that and then I went to bed. So I think I'm feeling the role quite good. I wanted to test out my attack titan abilities on some random titans, but when I went back to like the original place they spawned, the grass was blue and these like black or blue flies are just flying around. I have no idea what they are. So I ended up having to make my own scenario of titans and I was not disappointed with the abilities. There's like a ground slam, you can jump as the titan and you can use your swords while in the titan form. So you can just obliterate titans, it was so cool. And whereas titans can basically two hit you, the titans can do a thing to me in this form. And I mean, I am the attack titan, so it should be that way. And when I came out the attack titan, I kind of looked like Eren from like the first season, so I thought that was kind of sick. And these marks are here, so I'm now officially one of the world's nine titans. I wonder what the other eight are up to.